Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel once again. My name is John Gabriel. I was asked some time ago what this article is about. <clears throat> Ancient Greek trigonometric formula is better than anything ever known. It's gone at 670 years. Well, the truth is I called them ancient Greek trigonometric formulas, but they're not really ancient Greek. They're John Gabriel trigonometric formulas, and they're better than anything ever known. Okay, I maintain, though, that the ancient Greeks had sufficient knowledge to come up with these formulas, even though they didn't, and there's no record of them anywhere in Greek uh, material or scrolls or anything like that. And I was the first to realize these. So what's so special about these? Well, first of all, they're revelations that only a genius can have. And of course, I am a genius, and that's why I discovered these formulas. Okay, it takes genius to realize these things. Closed form trigonometric formulas, which make Newton look like an orangutan compared to me, okay? Now, I'll give you an example. Um, so if you look at, uh, let's say, the science series, the science series <clears throat> for the angle of 45 degrees, and you try to use Newton's uh, science series. Okay, let's let's do it. Just let's do that, that exercise right now and see what happens, okay? So we'll say f of x is equal to x minus x cubed divided by 3 factorial, like that, plus x 5 divided by 5 factorial, and one more term, let's say four terms, <clears throat> x 7 divided, no, not, not that one, x7 divided by 7 factorial. So let's just say we've got four terms, and we want to find f of pi over 4, right? Okay, so let's get some more, uh, some more decimal places there. Let's say about 5, make it more even. Let's, let's make it 10. All right, so now... Uh, with with Newton's sine series, this is the approximation you get. But if you say 45 degrees, like that, and take the sine of it, okay. So Newton's is off after the sixth one, okay. It's totally, because this calculator is far more accurate. So it's off here, it says... Six four four six nine six and it should be seven eight one one. Okay, so what happens when we use the brilliant John Gabriel's closed form trigonometric formulas, which are these, by the way? Okay, these are the formulas. So let's do this. Let's go to a demo here, and this is okay. This is the sine of forty five, and let's increase the decimal places to ten, and see what we have. Okay, so now the sine of 45, okay, so look there, it's exactly, exactly the same as this here. I mean, if I increased it to 15, it would be even closer to that. Let's go and increase it to 15, right? 15, which is the most you can do here. And let's pull up this thing here and let's see if they're the same. So hmm, it looks like John Gabriel's closed form formula gives exactly the same value as the calculator. And of course, if there were more decimals, you'd get exactly the same value as the calculator. And how does this work? What is the formula for John Gabriel's sine ratio? Well, let's see. This this here is the formula. So Basically, what you have to do is submit a parameter x, which works for all the trigonometric functions. Okay, now that parameter x is not an angle in radians or degrees. Be careful, if you put radians or degrees in there, you'll get nonsense answers. 
you have to use radical unit angles. And of course, I'll show you in a minute how you can convert uh, a radical unit angle to radians or degrees because there is no direct mapping. So this is the formula. Now, if we have to program this formula into our, so we'll say the new sign, this is the, new, the John Gabriel sign, right? Okay, is x over the square root of 1 minus 2x plus 2x squared, right? So that's the John Gabriel sign. So we, we need to know what the parameter is for pi over 4. And the parameter for pi over 4 happens to be, it happens to be this value here, 0 0.707, 7, which is half the distance of this line. Okay. Uh, and that's not a parameter. That's the name of the angle. Um, but the parameter is 0 .0 0 0.5. So how do we get 0 0.5? Well, we take this value here, which is the angle, square it, divide it by 2, and take the square root again of that. And then we submit that, we submit that to the Gabriel function. So if we say sine of 0 0.5, look at that. Do you see that? That's the answer. And it's accurate also to as many decimal places as you like in one shot. So you can find the, the answer where Newton's series need several terms to get to the right answer. And they don't. I mean, even after four terms, as you see, in this example, now where's that example? After four terms, this is Newton's. After four terms, it's still wrong. Okay, it's only accurate to till about six digits. Mine is accurate completely, in one shot, in one close formula. So it takes genius to do that. All right, I'm I'm repeating that because I want you to realize that you're incorrigibly stupid compared to my intelligence. So how did I do this? Well, um, as I've explained. I express angles in terms of this uh, diagonal here, because this happens to be a right angle, by the way, one over one. And it doesn't matter. You can scale it, and the results will still remain the same. But it's easier to work with a isosceles triangle with equal sides of, of 1. So to get x from this distance, and this distance here is only from here to here, right? It's not the entire line. The entire line is the square root of 2, which is approximately 1.4121, okay? So to get the parameter x is very simple. These are both, these are always uh, the same value, okay? Because, see there? That's, those are all similar triangles. So, boom, these x's will be the same, which means we can find this x from the angle, right? And this parameter x allows us to find the adjacent, which is 1 minus x, and also the hypotenuse, and hence all the trigonometric ratios. Sheer genius, huh? The ancient Greeks didn't do this. I did this. Nobody besides the great John Gabriel was able to do this. Am I boasting? Yes. And I, it took me a long time to share this information with you. Can you, you can only imagine what I haven't shared with you and what I'm not going to share with you because most of you are bastards. Not all of you, but most of you. And especially the mainstream mathematics academia, they've been persecuted, persecuting me for decades. And by the way, you can do everything that you do with Newton's garbage so-called infinite series. They're not infinite, but you can do everything that you can do with Newton's with my radical unit angle formulas okay so once you find x you can find all the other ratios and that's basically the gist of this ingenious discovery of mine all right so let's do one more example so let's take angle 30. okay so angle 30 the for angle 30 the radical unit angle is 51764 well, let's make that also Let's expand that also to settings, to 15 decimals. How about that? Right, to 15 decimals. Here we go. So let's write this down and say mm, 0. Point, well, 
I'm not going to write that one down. I'm going to write the parameter down, which is this, okay? So if I write that parameter down, which is 366025403784444, I can use it in any of my trigonometric formulas. In other words, any of these formulas take the same parameter. Even the inverses take the same parameter, okay? Which means if I go back to this little test program here or test applet and I say uh, sine of and I'm going to put the parameter 0 0.366025403748444 okay now that gives me and by the way, this isn't the complete value. So if I had the complete value, you wouldn't even see a 2 there. It would be exact. Okay. And of course, this angle here corresponds to 30 degrees. And you all know 30, 30 degrees is a special angle, which uh, evaluates to 0 0.5. Okay. And now if you had to put 30 degrees for four terms of newtons, what will that be? So pi... Uh, over 6 would be 30 degrees, wouldn't it? And what do we get there? So look at look at Newton's. It's very far out. It's 0 0.499999 and all this garbage here, okay? Just with four terms. So, I mean, you'd have to add a lot more terms here. Uh, let's say plus x to the 9, like that divided by 9 factorial. Let's see if it gets any closer. Oh, there you go. But you still look here after five terms, you've got 2 point, you've got 2028. Let's try six terms. So that would be minus x uh, over 11 factorial. <laughs> and then guess what happens? It goes back to the other direction. So let's see what happens if we add one more. So you see with Newton's, it not even accurate for any given one. It's never accurate, in fact. Um, 13 and 13 factorial. Oops. And so it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven terms. And by the way, this isn't uh, the exact value. It's only because the, the software will only calculate it up to a specific spot. But if it had to calculate more, this value would still be out. You still have digits other digits appearing here and it would for example if you go with uh, minus x15 it would go back down again so let's see what happens 15 factorial and of course these factorials are not necessarily accurate okay i mean it, they're being rounded off or or uh, rounded rounded either up or down whichever is the case and so it seems as if this value is uh being is corresponding to this calculation here, but it it's really not because of what I've just explained. So, however, the the uh, trigonometric formulas that I created are closed form formulas, which means if you provide the right parameter, you'll get the exact answer straight away. Okay, and you can do that with any of the functions okay with any of the trigonometric functions that's why it's an ingenious system now the radical unit angles as i said do not correspond directly so how can you convert them well if you read my article to which i'll place a link i give you little tricks to do the conversions and so if you come down here after i've done all the explanations i show you how to convert to degree or radium. So for example, you know that sine of pi over 6 is a half. And here what you'll do is you'll solve the sine ratio formula, which is this one here, square both sides, as I do over here, and then solve for solve for x. Okay, so you put k is equal to half and you solve for x. It's a simple quadratic equation and you get the answer here, which is this. Okay. And this is exact, by the way. I mean, with new, none of Newton's series will give you an exact answer like this. <clears throat> so, 
are there are these formulas ancient greek trigonometric formulas well not really i discovered them they're john gabriel formulas they're not written anywhere else it takes genius to discover these things and i want to to rub it in to your wound because none of you morons or any of the morons in mainstream were ever able to come up with this can you use this also in in periodic fashion like you do with uh, newton series you can and the, the thing is the great thing about these formulas is, is that they're easy to learn easy to use and based all on the same parameter okay same parameter nothing changes and you only need to know how they work for the first quadrant because once you know how they work for the first quadrant you can derive all the other quadrant angles from these okay see that so zero and one and so radical angle units were discovered by the great john gabriel yes i want to rub that in to all you stupid cranks who have libeled me and said nasty things about me eat shit and die and guess what there's a lot more of where that came from which you'll never find out and which you're too stupid to find out even if you could live a thousand years and how do i know well how many thousand years has, has it been since my brilliant ancestors died and discovered uh, trigonometry well over 2400 years have your greatest academics newton and all the others have they come anywhere close to my genius no they haven't and yet you still libel me you vile cranks you vile rotten scum all of you now those who are my followers please take note if you're not a rare subscriber become a subscriber click like tell your friends about that about this uh wonderful knowledge tell your uh, parents tell everyone you know your lecturers your colleagues your fellow students they'll be amazed believe me very well then also follow me on academia.edu that's where this article is and that's pretty much it and i hope i've actually helped you to understand these things a little bit better than i did in previous videos my name is john gabriel and this is a new calculus channel till next time Goodbye.